Hey guys, if you already have a reverse osmosis system or you're looking for one, there's some concern that they're a little difficult to install, but it's actually not that bad. So in this review, we're gonna do a step-by-step -step detailed walkthrough of how you can install a reverse osmosis system under your sink to hopefully save you some time and money. Let's dive in. For this installation walkthrough, we're using the Springwell 4 Stage RO, and if you're still on the hunt for your own system, I really love this one, and I'll put a link in the description box below. But if not, this installation walkthrough will work for any tank-based RO system. The nice thing is most of these RO units come with everything you need. The filter head, replacement cartridges, storage tank, installation hardware, and faucet. After selecting and sizing up your location, the first step is turning off the cold water supply. Next, select your faucet location. We were lucky to have a spray faucet hole to use, but if you do not have that, you will have to drill a 7 8 inch hole in approximately the same location. To remove the spray faucet, simply unscrew the faucet base under the sink and remove the inlet hose from the other side. It is recommended to have a bucket under your sink to drain the water from the hose into. After being disconnected, remove the spray faucet. Now that we have our faucet hole, take the faucet assembly and add the base plate and rubber gasket. Place the faucet on your countertop. Now take the large metal washer, plastic washer, and locking washer. Fasten the washer to the bottom of the faucet until it is snug and secure. Take the white 3 8 inch faucet adapter and screw it onto the bottom of the faucet. Cut the blue water tubing squarely with a sharp knife, being careful not to crush the tubing and making sure it's free of burrs or abrasions. Push the tube firmly into the fitting. You should feel it push past the o-ring and avoid bending the tubing sharply away from the fitting. Next, take the mounting screws and paper mounting template. Tape the paper template where you intend to mount the filter manifold head. Add the screws to the indicated template locations, being careful not to over tighten them so there's space for the mounting brackets. After adding all six screws, you can remove the paper template. Now we are ready to mount the cartridge head under the sink. Remove the red safety plug and firmly insert the blue waterline elbow fitting. Hang the cartridge head on the mounting screws, ensuring it fits correctly and locks into place. The next step is to install the adapter valve on the cold water supply. Start by disconnecting the hose from the supply valve. Now, install the adapter valve on the supply valve. Reconnect the riser hose to the adapter valve. Insert the quarter inch orange tube into the quick connect fitting on the adapter valve. Open the cold water supply valve and check for leaks. The next step is connecting the system drain. Install the drain saddle valve on the drain pipe beneath the sink. The drain saddle supplied is for standard one and one half inch plumbing that should fit most sinks. Tighten the clamp with the help of the two bolts, being careful not to over tighten them. Drill a quarter inch hole through the side of the pipe. The drill should be kept straight and centered to avoid damaging the saddle valve. Do not drill through both sides of the pipe. 
Attach the quarter inch black tube by slipping the tube through the black compression nut and hand tightening the nut onto the saddle valve. Now we are ready to attach all three lines to the cartridge housing. Start by attaching the orange cold water line to the manifold inlet. Next connect the blue line from the dispensing faucet to the elbow joint on the manifold head. To connect the black drain line, begin by twisting off the RO membrane filter. Remove the safety plug on the bottom of the cartridge and insert the blue elbow fitting. Twist the RO membrane back into the cartridge housing. Use a sharp knife to squarely cut any excess length from the black drain line. Now connect the black drain line to the blue elbow fitting on the bottom of the RO membrane. The next step is tank installation and sanitization. Wrap the threads on the top of the water storage tank three times with Teflon tape. Make sure it's tight, but not over tight. Now screw the tank bell valve onto the top of the water storage tank. Connect the white 3 8 inch line to the storage tank valve. It is important to use a sanitizer in the tank so the solution can sanitize the tubing, fittings, and faucet at the time of installation and startup. Use the syringe to put one half teaspoon of good quality unscented liquid bleach directly into the tank line. Remove the black safety plug from the back of the cartridge manifold and connect the white tank line. You can now mount the cartridge housing to the cabinet wall. Open the inlet and tank valve to check the system thoroughly for leaks. Allow the system to run and fill the tank for one to two hours. You will hear the water running to drain while the unit is operating. Once the water stops running to drain, the tank is full. Open the faucet and allow the tank to drain completely to flush the carbon particles and sanitization solution. Do not use this water. Allow the tank to fill completely again and flush for 24 hours before using. Then your water is pure and safe for consumption. Hopefully this guide was helpful in your installation process, but if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. And if you enjoyed watching this video, please hit that subscribe button and check out some of our other water filter reviews here.